multiplying and dividing with significant figures. So multiplying and dividing with significant figures is similar to adding and subtracting with significant figures in the sense that your answer can only be as precise as the least precise measurement that you're combining of the ones you're combining together. But it's different from adding and subtracting with significant figures in that with adding and subtracting you were just looking at how many digits there are to the right of the decimal place. But in multiplying and dividing, you're going to look at how many significant figures there are in the whole number all together. So here the question says write the answer for each calculation with the correct number of significant figures. All right, so you take the two numbers, and my recommendation, just do the math, plug it into a calculator. With these numbers, you should get 13.572. Now, go back to your numbers and ask yourself, how many significant figures are there in this whole number? So you're not just looking to the right of the decimal place and asking yourself how many digits are there. You're looking at the whole number. So in this first number, there are three significant figures. In the second number, there are only two significant figures. Remember, zeros to the left of non-zero numbers are never significant. So the less precise measurement, the one with the fewer number of significant figures, is the 0 0.52. That only has two significant figures. And so that's how many sig figs we want our answer to have. Our answer can't be any more precise than that. So. You always start from the left, go to the right. That gives us the one and the three. That's where we want our number to end. That's as precise as we can be. So we go to the next number to the right, the next digit to the right. If it's five or above, then we round up. If it's below five, we round down. This is five or above. So we're gonna round up and our answer will be 14. That's the answer to the correct number of significant figures. All right, so first, just do the math. Plug this in a calculator. You should get 13.74844075. All right, now go back to the numbers you multiplied or divided together. We're looking at the whole number, not just to the right of the decimal place. The top, the number on the top, 66.13, has four significant figures. All non-zero numbers are always significant. The number on the bottom has three significant figures. So our less precise measurement is has three significant figures. And so our answer can't be any more precise than that. So it, our answer should also only have three significant figures. You start counting from the left, go to the right. That should give you the one, the three, and the seven. Everything else needs to be rounded away. So we go to the digit just to the right of that. Because it's below five, we're gonna round that four down. And that's gonna leave us with 13.7 as our answer. All right, so first, just do the multiplication, plug it in a calculator, you should get 0 0.03656. Now, go back to the two numbers you multiplied or divided together. This first number only has three significant figures. Those zeros are not significant because zeros to the left of non-zero numbers are never significant. Our other number has only one significant figure. So the less precise measurement has one significant figure. That's the lower number. That's as precise as our answer can be. So we're gonna go from the left to the right find just one significant figure, and that's gonna be the three. Now notice, I'm not counting those zeros. Those zeros are not significant, because zeros to the left of non-zero numbers are never significant. So, we want our answer to stop where that three is. We're gonna to go to the digit just to the right of that. Everything else needs to be rounded away. Because that six is above five, we're gonna round up, and our answer will be 0.04. All right, first, just do the math, plug it all into a calculator, press enter, and you should get 10.17610169. Then, go back to the numbers that you multiplied or divided together, look at the whole number, 
In this first one, there are only four significant uh, figures. That zero to the left is not significant, because zeros to the left of non-zero numbers are never significant. Then, the next number has two significant figures, and the number on the bottom has three significant figures. So, our least precise measurement has two sig figs. That's the lowest number of sig figs that we had in the numbers we multiplied or divided together. So that's how many sig figs we can have, we should have, we must have in our answer. Now, start from the left, go to the right here. You have one and zero. That's two sig figs. So we want our number to stop there. So everything else needs to be rounded away. We go to the next digit, that one, because that's below five. We round down and we're left with 10 with a decimal point. Now notice you have to keep the decimal point there because we want two significant figures. Zeros to the right of non-zero numbers are only significant if there's a decimal point. So if you got rid of the decimal point, ah, then there'd only be one significant figure and you wouldn't be representing the correct amount of precision. So our answer is really 10 with a point. I know it looks strange, but that's the answer. All right, this one, very similar question. It says write the answer for each calculation with the correct number of significant figures. First, just do the math. You sh with these numbers, that should give you 9.19931. Then go back to the numbers you multiplied or divided together. Now you're looking at the whole number here. So this first digit has three significant figures. Notice that that zero is not significant. Zeros to the left of non-zero numbers are never significant. That second number has two significant figures, and the third number has two significant figures. The lowest number of significant figures we have here is two. That's our the measurements with the least precision, and so that's how many sig figs we need in our answer. So going from left to right, counting the digits, we've got nine and one. That's where that's how many sig figs we need in our answer. Everything else needs to be rounded away. So go to the digit just to the right of that. Because that 9 is above 5, we're going to round it up, and our answer to the correct number of significant figures should be 9.2. All right, here, just do the math, plug it into a calculator. Here, that should give you 0 0.00854666667. All right, now go back to the numbers you multiplied or divided together. Here, the 6.41, that has three significant figures. On the bottom, the 2 has just one significant figure. And the 375 has three significant figures. Now, the lowest number, the number with the low, fewest significant figures here is the 2. That has only one sig fig. So the smallest number of sig figs is 1 in the numbers we multiplied or divided together. That's how many sig figs we need in our answer. So that would include just where the 8 is. Now, notice... I'm not including the zeros because those are not significant. Zeros to the left of non-zero numbers are never significant. So here, where you, that 8 is, that has just one sig fig. We want to round everything else away, so you go to the digit just to the right of that. Because that's 5 or above, we're going to round that up, and our answer will be 0 0.009. All right, here, just do the calculation in a calculator that should give you 169,000 and then go back to the numbers you multiplied together and look at the whole number so here that 200 only has one sig fig remember if zeros are to the right of non-zero numbers they're only significant if you have a decimal place their significance stands or falls with the decimal place if there is a decimal then they're significant if there's not a decimal then they're not here there's no decimal there so the zeros are not significant, only the two is. That number has only one significant figure. 845 has three significant figures. The number with the fewer, fewest number of sig figs is the one that has just one. So we need just one significant figure in our answer. Now, starting from the left of the number, going to the right, that only includes the one there. So we're going to have to round all the other digits away. So go to the six, that's five or above, so we're going to round that up, and we're going to be left with 200,000. That has only one significant figure, which is what we wanted, because zeros to the right of non-zero numbers are never significant 
unless there's a decimal place. If there's a decimal place, then there's significant here. There isn't a decimal place, so this has only one significant figure. All right, take these numbers, punch them into a calculator. That should give you 0 0.10115762. Go back to the numbers you put in. Let's look at them one at a time. 5.1 has two significant figures. 0 0.562 has three significant figures. Remember, the zero is not significant because zeros to the left of a non-zero number are never significant. 9.14 has three significant figures. And 31.0 has three significant figures. Remember, zeros to the right of non-zero numbers are significant if there's a decimal place. They would not be significant only if there's not a decimal place. So the number the lowest number of sig figs we have here is 2, and that's how many sig figs we need in our answer. So starting from the left of our number, going to the right, that would give us 0 0.10. Remember that 0 there, that first 0 to the left of the decimal is not significant, so that one doesn't count, because zeros to the left of non-zero numbers are never significant. And so, 2 sig figs, 0 0.10. Now the rest of the number needs to be rounded away, so let's go to the digit just to the right of that. Here, because that's below 5, that 1 is below 5, we're going to round down, and our answer will be 0 0.10. Thank you for your attention.